Hello there, my name's Laura Harvey from Essex Wildlife Trust and today we're going to be having a look at inks. Today we're going to carry out a bit of a science experiment. You will need to check with an adult before you do this. In the olden days, people didn't go to a shop and buy ink, they used to make it themselves from things they found. This kind of ink is called gall ink and it has been used for centuries. So, what do you need? First of all, you need a gall. Okay, so I've put them in an old bag that I found and now I'm going to bash them with a rolling pin. I'm just putting these in an old coffee grinder. Okay, we're in my greenhouse now. I've ground it all up as best I can. And now I'm going to add some rainwater. If you haven't got any rainwater you can use bottled water or maybe boil some water and leave it to cool down. It's already gone a nice brown colour. I'm going to leave it now for a week. The other ingredient you need is iron sulphate. Now I didn't have any of that at home so I tried a bit of an experiment Put some rusty nails in some vinegar, left it for a week. This is what it looks like now. Coffee filter, a funnel, glass jars to put the ink in. In the olden days, they used to write with feathers, so I've got this feather to try. Cut two circles out of the coffee filter. I'm going to take one of the circles, fold it in half, so it's a semicircle, fold it in half again, so it's in quarters, and then open it up and put it in the funnel. I'm going to filter the gall liquid. Some people use it like this and it makes a nice brown ink. ink works they say that it is permanent ink so make sure you have an adult around to help you with this I'm going to have a go at writing with it with the ink and the feather apparently what happens is as you write the iron oxidizes and turns from brown into Black. Can you see it becoming more black? 